Hello everyone, my name is Joseph and welcome back to the Popsicle Night channel. This video is sponsored by ptcglstore.com, a great place for you to buy Pokemon TCG code cards. Please remember to use my code NIGHT22 at checkout so that you can get a 5% discount. Before going into the video, please take a second to click that like button and we're on the road to getting 9,000 subscribers to this channel, so please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you all so much for all of your support and I hope you guys are enjoying the content I put out in this channel. In today's video, I'll be showcasing Wo Chen from the Paradox Rift expansion set. Wo Chen is an interesting card thanks to its attack Binding Greed. For 3 grass and 1 colorless energy, it deals 140 damage. And during your opponent's next turn, the attacks used by the defending Pokemon will cost 2 more colorless energies. Any Pokemon weak to grass can take as much as 280 damage from this attack. The downside to this attack however is that it only affects the defending Pokemon, which means if your opponent switches it out of the active spot, the effects will be nullified. And unfortunately this attack is also quite expensive to power up as well. To help amplify the disruptive effects of Wo Chien's attack, I added two lines of Spidop's EX in this build. It has the ability Trap Territory, which increases the retreat cost of your opponent's active Pokemon by one colorless energy. So unless they have any switching cards, your opponent will have a hard time retreating their Pokemon. And after attacking with Wo Chien, you may just be able to completely immobilize your opponent's Pokemon, trapping it in the active spot, unable to attack because its attack cost has been increased. And Spidop's EX also has a strong attack for 1 Grass and 1 Colorless Energy, Wire Hang deals 90 plus damage and 30 more damage for each energy in your opponent's active Pokemon's retreat cost. To help energize Wo Chien's attack, we'll be using Cherim with the Spring Bloom ability. As often as you like during your turn, you may attach a basic grass energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon with no rule box on it. And to help get energies into our hand, I have two copies of Earthen Vessel. By discarding one card from your hand, you can search your deck for up to two basic energy cards and put them into your hand. As for the other cards worth noting, I have TM Evolution. This can give one of your Pokemon the attack, Evolution, which can help you evolve two of your bench Pokemon. We have access to Superior Energy Retrieval. By discarding 2 cards from your hand, you can recover up to 4 basic energies from your discard pile back to your hand. This build of course is nowhere near competitive. I just wanted to experiment on this combo, utilizing Wo Chien's unique attack to increase the attack cost of our opponent's Pokemon. Paired with Spidop's EX though, this combo is not half bad. Unfortunately, we're also no match for any decks that can flood their board with so many energies like Gardevoir EX or Qian Pao EX builds. But this deck was worth a try. Anyways, that's pretty much it. You can find the complete deck list in the description below. And now please enjoy the following gameplay videos showcasing Wo Qian. Alright, on to our first match. I actually won the coin flip here, so I do prefer going first with this build since we have a lot of stage 1 Pokemon that we need to evolve into. So naturally, I like setting up my basic Pokemon in my very first turn. My opponent will mulligan. They have Arceus, V-Star, and Sizer. Alright, very interesting attackers there. But we are going to start with H.R. Ruby in the active spot. It is a little bit dangerous because since my opponent will go second, they could attack on their very first turn. They will mulligan once. And we got a Battle VIP pass. Alright, very awesome. So that will allow us to get a few more basic Pokemon and a Squovit. Alright, cool. So we'll set that up. And of course, we got to start with our consistency. So we got to get Bidoof with this level ball. And with this Battle VIP pass, I think I will just get two of the Tarantulas here. We can evolve those into Spidop's EX. We have Technical Machine Evolution, so we could actually use that on our second turn. But right now, I will just pass. And hopefully my opponent doesn't attack on their turn. And our Cherubi survives because we can evolve it into Cherum on our next turn. And since we have Earthen Vessel, we can also get energies from our deck and go from there. But my opponent also has Gimme Ghoul. So this is actually a Goldengo deck. All right. Paired with Arceus V-Star. So a very powerful combination there, allowing them to set up uh, really nicely, especially with that consistency. If they evolve into Arceus V-Star, they can use Starbirth ability, which can get them any two cards from their deck. Okay. Radiant Greninja, Concealed Cards, discards one energy and draw two. And they have Squawkabilly EX as well. That allows them to discard their entire hand, draw six. 
But they're not going to use it. They just wasted it. Okay, well. Um, let's see. We can reserve Cherum here. I can actually evolve into Cherum. Let me get two energies from our deck first. I can sacrifice this one. Get two grass energies. And then what I can do is attach this to Cherubi. So that I can retreat it. Evolve Cherum. And then I can use Cherum to accelerate another energy to one of my Tarantula. Because we can sacrifice one. And then we can use the technical machine evolution. Then we can evolve... I think the barrel and into Spidops EX. That way we can trap this Arceus V from their active, especially if they don't have any energies on it. So let's go ahead and use the attack evolution. We can choose two of our benched Pokemon and then evolve them. So I'll get Spidops EX for Tarantula and the barrel to evolve our Bidoof. So now we have a consistency we can draw every turn. And now my opponent's retreat cost, their opponent's active will increase by one. Now, if they can't attack with Arceus V, or if they don't have any switching cards, we can actually try and find the other Spidops EX, evolve our Tarantula, that way we can preserve it. And the next step will be finding our Wo Chien and some energies so we can start attacking. For the meantime, my opponent is setting up their Sizer line with Scyther. And they will evolve into Goldengo EX. Goldengo EX is pretty powerful for a single metal energy. You can discard however many basic energy cards from your hand. Doesn't matter if it's metal or any other type, as long as it's a basic energy. And you can deal that much damage multiplied by 50. So it has the potential to knock out any Pokemon in the game. And they're just going to pass though. They are focusing mainly on their Radiant Greninja. So that's fine with me. Just get two more basic energies from the deck here. Attach for turn on. My Spidops EX. And then I can... If I can find a Spidops EX to evolve my active, I can actually attack. But really depends on what we get here. All right, we got a Wo Chien and Professor's Research that will allow us to draw into more cards, and then we got one extra energy. I can start prepping my Wo Chien here, attach an energy with Cherubi. We got three more Grass energies. That is crazy. That actually allows us to fully energize Wo Chien. We can use Switch, preserve the energies on this Tarantula, and then. Uh, we can hopefully evolve into, into Spidops EX and with the two energies, we can attack with it. So what I'm going to do is actually use Wo Chien first. Doesn't matter if my opponent has any way to energize Arceus V. Its attack cost will increase now to 5 instead of 3. So that is actually really, really good. So... If my opponent manages to get one more energy on their Radiant Greninja, and if they have a switch, they can actually target. We have three potential targets on our bench. Squovit, Cherum, and Tarantula. And they can knock out two of those. We could go defensive and protect our bench by getting Manaphy, though. But as of right now, our bench is pretty full. We have Wo Chen. This is the highlight of this deck. And my opponent will just pass. All right. So that is good for us. And I can actually use Arvin to get Ultra Ball. Probably evolve into Spidops EX. That way we can preserve this Tarantula. Then what I could do is just discard these two. And preserve the basic energy. But then again... No, it's fine. Yeah. We'll, we'll discard those. Get our last Spidops EX from our deck. Evolve this. So now my opponent's active will always have two extra retreat costs onto them. Increasing the damage output of Spidops EX as well. 
And with this bit barrel, industrious incisor, we got two bosses orders. So now we can target any of their Pokemon at any point in time. And we can even get a knockout off of this Arceus V. And with this heavy ball, we got another Wo Chien and just checking my prizes. At least we got another attacker lined up here. And I could just finish off this Arceus V, get two prizes, but then they can attack with their Radiant Greninja. But that's okay. We really don't have any other choice with that one because one way or another, they will attack with it. And without Manaphy on our bench, we can't really protect two of our Pokemon there. So we got another energy available to us. And with Arvin, I can get super superior energy retrieval and then power up another Wochan. But then again, we also have two Spidops EX ready to go. The only downside to this is that Goldengo EX is resistant to grass because it is a metal type. So our damage is reduced by 30, which actually could be very significant. Goldango EX having 260 HP. Uh, we won't deal enough damage to knock it out. So one way we can actually win against this one is actually using Wo Chien and being able to increase my opponent's Goldango EX's attack and prevent them from attacking. Because uh, as far as I know, Goldango EX builds doesn't really have any energy accelerator because having only one energy to energize its attack it really depends on it for that single energy attachment so it really doesn't worry about energy acceleration that much so i don't think they will have anything they will use make it rain and possibly just knocking out our wo chan here for 150, discarding three of the energies in their hand. All right. I could attack with Spidop's EX, but if I can get more energies, I could actually just use Wo Chen to attack and then prevent them from attacking. And if they can't retreat, especially with Spy two Spidop's EX in play, uh, there's no way that they can attack. So I think I'm just gonna go with that play we have Superior Energy Retrieval. This is the last one in our deck. And I will just discard these two. Get four from our discard pile back to our hand. And then we can accelerate it with Cherum onto our Wu Chen. Four energies required. And we have Switch, which makes it really beautiful. That way we don't have to discard the energies on Spide Ops EX. That way we can attack with it on command. And I think I will use Super, uh, Super Rod here to recover Wo Chen and two more energies back to the deck. We're just going to keep the, our supplies of energies available to us. And we got two Wo Chens from that draw. So we're going to go ahead and use Binding Greed, dealing 110 damage again because of that resistance. We're only dealing 110. So now my opponent's Goldengo EX needs two more colorless energy to power it up to attack and it cannot retreat because it now has four retreat cost because we have two spidops ex in play so unless they have path to the peak to turn off ability which i doubt it because they actually rely on goldengo ex to draw a lot of extra cards so and uh, yeah th that's pretty much the spirit of the strategy of this build trap your opponent in the active spot and then prevent them from attacking by increasing their attack damage uh, or their attack uh, energy requirement by two colorless energy so they're attaching an energy to golden go ex which is not going to be enough still they need one more energy they basically need three energies to attack with golden go ex but with 110 damage Wo Chen will still not be able to attack, uh, knock it out. So we might have to use Spide Ops EX to finish it off. They're going to, oh, dude. Okay, that was unexpected. 
So they have uh, Giovanni, which removes one of our energies from our active to our hand, and then they accelerate one energy. So now they can actually attack with this Goldengo EX. That actually works out. That's fine with me, because now I can just, uh, I don't have to worry about retreating it. I can just attack with Spite Ops EX and then knock out this Goldango EX. Despite its resistance, we should be able to knock it out because it has four retreat cost and multiplied that. We should be able to deal enough damage to knock it out. So now it's our turn and we have enough damage to actually knock out this Goldango EX. What I'm going to do is just finish off this Goldango EX and we could actually just target that Squawkabilly EX. I think we should be able to deal enough damage to knock it out for the last two prizes. But for now, I'm going to just set up one more Wu Chen. I'm going to be aggressive here. I know I can protect my bench with Manaphy, protecting my Cherum and my Squovit, but I'm going to go with this. And then I'm going to use Nest Dash and just gather as much energy as I can. Maybe power up my Wu Chen. Use Industrious Incisors, and there's another energy. All right, so we'll just need two more energies to power up Wo Chen, and one more after this. And I can even use Iono and shuffle their hand, and maybe we'll disrupt them. Let's go ahead and do that, and we got Cherum. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and attack with Wire Hang, dealing 180 damage, knocking out their Goldango EX, despite resistance. And we're gonna get two more prizes. So we are looking good. So they will attack with Radiant Greninja, and sure enough, they will knock out both my weaker Pokemon on the bench. That's gonna get them two prizes. We should be able to get a knockout here. I will just boss their spy, uh, their Squawkabilly EX. Retreat to my Spydops EX. And we can deal 180 damage with Wire Hang. Dealing knockout blow on this Squawkabilly EX. Getting us our last two prizes for the win. There you have it, guys. Wo Chan with Spydops EX. Not too bad. Good game. All right, on to our next match. This time, actually, I am using a different variant of this Wo Chan build, this time without any Spydops EX in this build. And I'll explain why I went with this one. Of course, being aggressive more uh, and then being able to use Wo Chan a lot more in this build. For now, we're going to start with Squovit in the active spot. We do on the bench, which is really nice. That allows us to readily evolve into a B barrel allowing us to draw into more cards for that consistency. But having one Battle VIP Pass is really great too. And we got three extra cards from my opponent's three mulligans. Now it's our turn. And we got another Battle VIP Pass. That is insane. So now we can actually fully set up our bench here. I'm just going to get Cherum, of course, to accelerate energies. Cricket Tune V, which will help us to get one extra card if we get our Forest Seal Stone. And I'm going to get... Wo Chan and Manaphy to protect our bench in case my opponent is able to energize their Radiant Greninja. Um, I could put an energy to Squovit to ready it for next turn in case we need to retreat it. And we're just going to end our turn. So with this variant, I'm using Cricketune V with the Four Seal Stone Tool Card combo. And that actually helps us to get any one card from the deck and also having a basic pokemon to help you draw is another great option for consistency and that's one of the reasons why i choose cricket tune v over mu ex is because i can use a forest seal stone in the deck and again that one extra card that you might need could go a long way and this matchup is actually pretty dangerous. We are going against a Roaring Moon EX build. And this is actually in our favor. Since Roaring Moon EX is weak against grass, their Galarian Moltres is also weak against grass. So that's two prizes we can take. 
course, if they increase their HP, that will put it out of range because Wo Chen's attack deals 140, double that is 280. And if they use Ancient Energy Booster, uh, that will increase Roaring Moon EX's HP to 290. So that's 10 damage, 10 HP or 10 damage away from knocking out, one hit knocking out their Roaring Moon EX. But the beauty of this build too, I'm also using Luxurious Cape, which increases Wo Chen's HP. And that puts it out of range of attack if they use Calamity Storm. So they'll have to use um, the Gouging Attack or the Instant Knockout. But that also puts a lot of damage to their Roaring Moon EX. So I think we have a hold on this matchup. I think this is a winnable matchup for sure. They're going to use Escape Rope. And I think the only reasonable Pokemon we can sacrifice here is Manaphy. But the next question is, will my opponent be able to power up their Roaring Moon EX to deal a knockout blow here? But uh, one of the other reasons why I took out Spidop's EX, was, which is actually, for me, the most ideal combo. Wo Chan with Spidops EX. But sometimes when you have so many stage one Pokemon that you evolve into, it can become so inconsistent. So again, I exchange Cricket Tune V here with Forest Seal Stone to increase consistency, extra draw with a basic Pokemon. Before we can evolve into Big Barrel, we already have that extra draw support. And it also removes liability if my opponent can knock out two prizers constantly. So my opponent will be able to knock out our mana fee. They didn't even need to increase their attack damage output. And that's going to get them their first prize. But with this level ball, we will evolve into Cherum. So now we can accelerate energies onto our Wo Chien. And I can use Ar Artisan here. And I think I can set up another Wo Chien. Because uh, I think it's unavoidable. My opponent should be able to knock out our Wo Chen on their next turn. But for now, we need to energize our active. We can use Iono to draw more cards, hopefully draw into more energy cards. Okay, Earthen Vessel is all right with me. I think I can sacrifice Avery, that's fine. Get two more basic energies and that should be enough to fully power up our Wo Chen. Then we can even use Nestash with Bibarel to draw more cards this turn. So let's go ahead and do that. Level ball, okay. All right, we got one more energy and energy recycle is ready for us. We got Luxurious Cape, add 100 more HP to our Wo Chan, making it into an EX. Then we're just gonna continue to energize our benched Wo Chan for our next turn. So Binding Greed will deal 280 damage, knocking out the Roaring Moon EX, getting us our first two prizes. We got two Ultra Balls. All right, cool. It's actually not as necessary, but that's okay. So between the two, Builds, I think this is more consistent, but I do like the Spidops EX version better in, in a way that uh, with the disruption and another attacker that requires only two energies actually helps out a lot. Because Wo Chen, ha the requirement of its attack is too high and recovering so much energy and then finding them to re-energize is just, it, it can be very cumbersome and you could run out of energies and... <laughs> just ultimately lose the game when you can't attack anymore so there are there are definitely pros and cons but being more aggressive is another approach that you can take it so of course my main featured build is with spider ops ex i think that is the best combo like i said and this is just a variant they could try out again the only difference here is cricket tune v with four seal stone no Spide Ops EX, I have Luxurious Cape, Energy Recycler, and pretty much everything else is the same. Just uh, a 
a simple attack and energize Wu Chen. This is a, a more aggressive approach to this build. For the meantime, my opponent is setting up their Roaring Moon EX maybe. They also have Iron Hands EX, which could be pretty dangerous because uh, they have a lot of targets that they can hit for a one-hit knockout, get two prizes. So now our Cherum and our Squovit becomes a liability. It can be treated as if it's a two-prize Pokemon, but it will require my opponent a lot of effort to par up this Iron Hands EX attack, which requires four energies, one lightning, and three colorless energy. So, let's see if they can set it up. Otherwise, they could go for a different attacker here. They are accelerating an energy with... Oh, no, no. They're using four seal stone. And they're using Professor Sadas Vitality which accelerates an energy to two of their ancient Pokemon, but they only have one, and they draw three. Mew EX is definitely a great pivot compared to Krikatoon V, but uh, that's a good combination because they have Galerian Moltres to use the Forest Seal Stone, then Mew EX for that extra draw. And Mew EX also has that free retreat, so that's a plus. As opposed to Cricket to Envy having to pay one retreat cost to get it out of the active spot. But my opponent doesn't get to attack if we only had a boss orders. But I will use Avery instead to disrupt my opponent's bench. That will force them to discard two of their cards until they have three Pokemon remaining on their bench. We actually got a Far Seal Stone from that, which is really nice. We can even use Ultra Ball here, but we don't really need to draw into any more Pokemon. And... How I wish I had Spidops EX now. <laughs> but it is what it is. Uh, I'll just use Nestash. I'm just going to look for more energies here to power up my other Wu Chen, which we are getting, so that's good. Attach that with Cherum. Industrious Incisors for five. And we got Earthen Vessel. All right. I could preserve it for now. And I'm just going to use Binding Greed to deal 140 damage to their new EX. So what's nice about Luxurious Cape here in this instance is that Galarian Moltres will not be able to knock it out. And Roaring Moon EX will not be able to knock it out with Calamitous Storm, even if they discard this stadium in play. So they that will force them to use Frenzied Gouging for an instant knockout. But like I said, that will increase, or that will put 200 damage to their Roaring Moon EX, making it a lot easier for us to knock out. So that will put a dilemma to my opponent. And all we need to do is knock out those two Pokemon. We have two targets, both are weak to grass, which is really awesome. And that's gonna be That's gonna be the the plan here is to to knock out those two. And uh, dealing damage to this Mew EX but it's puts it closer to an easier knockout, even if they pivot back into it, so we can knock it out with Wo Chen. So for now, they're focusing on putting energies to their Galarian Moltres. They could, of course, easily can easily just uh, transfer those energies to their Roaring Moon EX. The, the question is, will they be able to knock out my Wo Chen? No, they have a boss's orders, and they're going to target our Cricketune V. And this Galarian Moltres V will be able to deal enough damage to knock out our Cricket Tune V, and that's going to get them two prizes. Uh, Cricket Tune V of, is definitely is a liability in this build, but it just adds such a great consistency to the deck, so that's that. But my opponent will be able to knock it out. Uh, we can retaliate with our Wo Chen 
to knock out this Galarian Moltres V, getting us two more prizes. I'll get two more energies with our Earthen Vessel. Accelerate energies to our other Wo Chan on the bench. Now we can knock out this Galarian Moltres V to get us two more prizes. Let's go ahead and use Masagoza. We got heads and we can set up our other Wo Chan. So we have a full lineup of attackers here and we're just not gonna let up. We're just, our advantage here is just really, really good. We go ahead and use Nestash. And like I said, we're just gonna continue to draw into more energies and we'll have to get recovery cards, of course, after they knock out my active so that we can power up our other Wo Chen. And just keep that lineup going. So I'm gonna use Super Rod for our next turn. And for now, we're gonna use Binding Greed, dealing 280 damage to knock out this Galerian Moltres V, getting us two more prizes. A basic energy and Iono. That's perfect. That is really good. With 11 cards on my opponent's arsenal, though, in their hand. It will be easier for them to get a knockout here. Energy switch, bro. Okay. Um, you know, I should have recovered Manaphy, actually. Uh, now that I look at it, they can use Radiant Greninja to deal a double, double knockout here. They can knock out Archerum and Squovit. And that will put them down to one prize remain remaining. So unless we get a boss orders in the next turn, we can definitely knock out this Mew EX or that Roaring Moon EX. But with 17, 17 cards left in the deck, uh, the, the probability is pretty high. So we might have to reshuffle it using other, our other cards here and go from there. All we need is a boss orders next turn. Get the last two prizes. We just need to get a knockout on either Mew EX or that Roaring Moon EX on their bench. And that that should be game. Now, we also have a liability with our Wo Chan in the active. If they can knock it out with an attack, they can get two prizes. But Frenzied Gouging actually will not work. It will not activate that... Uh, effect with Luxurious Cape because it's an effect of an attack. You actually require, it's required that it's an attack damage for your opponent to get an extra prize. So they will go for the Moonlight Shuriken attack to knock out our Squovit and Cherum. And that puts them to just one prize remaining. So Unless we find a boss orders, my opponent will get this game or this victory. Because even if we knock out Radiant Greninja, we'll, we're only taking one prize. So they will get the last prize on their next turn. So we need to get a boss orders. Can we do it? We go ahead and just uh, use Super Rod to get Squovit. That could help us to actually draw into... Boss's order. Squovit always comes in clutch. So having this in play. We have to win this game in this turn, guys. I'm just going to get rid of these two. Because we need to use a supporter. We're not going to use Iono. So we're just going to discard that. We're going to reserve our support card for our boss orders. I'm going to use Ultra Ball. Um, let me actually get rid of the Palpat because I can accelerate this basic energy. Get Bidoof. Thin out our hand, our, our deck and I can put that into play and attach an energy so we can draw five. Come on, boss orders. This is it. <laughs> That's it. That's game. And we're going to end this game with style. Attacking with Wo Chan's Binding Greed to knock out this Roaring Moon EX, hitting for weakness, getting us our last two prizes for the win. Man, that, <laughs> that was pretty clutch. 
Wow, really good game. And that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please don't forget to smash the like button for me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching the Popsicle Night channel, and as always, stay safe and have a great day.